Hey guys, how's it going? In this video, we'll be taking a look at how we could embed videos from YouTube in our own application. We will be focusing more on the configuration of using the YouTube data API and finally taking a look at something that I've done. And hopefully this helps you achieve the goal of your project and serve the purpose of you choosing to watch this video. If this is the first time you have come across using any sort of API and consuming it, I'd recommend sticking around to the end of this video. I promise it'll be worth it. Um, also, while we're at it, please do me a favor and hit that thumbs up. Share this video with your friends. Uh, if you haven't already, do subscribe and click that bell button. I will always try to bring you concise tech content with no BS. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the first thing you'd need is to know which API to hit. So let's go ahead and open the YouTube data API reference. This is the reference guide that you'd need. All the steps are laid out here. So if you want to follow um, you know, the written version of it, so you could go ahead and check this out. But if you follow along, that'll be just easier. This is the relative URI that we would be hitting for our requests. So I'll just grab that. Let's open up a console here and the browser itself, clear out the console. First things first, um, let's just see if the browser's fetch API works. I like to use the JSON placeholder for making fake API calls and um, you know such requests. So I'll just grab this from here. I'm assuming that you would be familiar with the fetch API and what it promises. If not, I'll leave some links down in the description. You could go check that out. Also, let me know in the comments if you'd like me to make a whole different video. I'll try to do that. So right now we're making a request to this API with a few parameters in here. Let's see if that works. This is the response that we get. So we know that's working. Let's grab that again. And we will be replacing this URI with our YouTube reference. So I'll just grab this, paste it in here. Now the request that we are making can have multiple parameters and the API reference has the whole detailed list of it. Um, but the two most important things that we will need is the API from the account that you would be fetching it, fetching all the videos from and the channel's ID. To start with, let's grab the channel ID first. So we'll go to the profile icon, go to settings, advanced, and then here's where you'll find the channel ID. So we'll copy that, store it somewhere. And the second thing that we'll need is an API key. To do that, we'll have to go to the Google Dev Console. So I already have a Google Cloud account. If you don't have one, you'll have to, it'll probably prompt you to create one. You go ahead and create that. And then it will land you to a dashboard where you'll be able to create a new project. Give it a name, create one. So once you have a project created, you'll have to go ahead and enable the YouTube API. We'll do that in a second. It'll give you a list of all the default APIs that will be already active here. You scroll all the way down. Um, if you don't see the YouTube data API, you'll go ahead and click this enable APIs and services button. And you'll search for the YouTube data API here. And we'll select the YouTube data API v3. Go ahead and enable this. After it is enabled, go to credentials here and create a credential and create an API key. So once that API key is created, it'll generate one and show up on the screen. You will want to copy this, also store it somewhere, and that's mostly all you need. So to add the query parameters, what you will do is go ahead and add them here like this. You'll say slash search, append a key to it. You will paste that API key that we've just stored somewhere that'll go here the next thing you'll add is the channel id notice that the d in id is lowercase and go ahead and hit enter and since we get a response back we know that the request is successful but this is a dummy channel that i have no videos on which is why we see an empty array of items within this if you would have some videos on a particular channel that you would be fetching the YouTube videos from, this items array would all be populated. Now let's take a look at my channel and you'd be able to see the values in them. This is the call that we made right now. And this is from a dummy account. But right now I'll be using my own credentials. I'm gonna black that out. I'll go ahead and hit enter. And after a while, when it would fetch all the data, here is where you'll see all the different results. And from there on out, it's really up to you how you want to use the data that's coming in from the API. 
and as a side note there are other parameters that could also be used such as i want to order it by view count uh, the maximum number of results i want is 20 and there are other parameters that you could uh, take a look at from the api reference and as we would usually do it we would map through all the items from the items array and display it as in how you would want it into another component all right so that is it for the video guys uh, if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below and i'll try my best to answer them if you get anything out of this video please remember to leave a thumbs up that'll help the channel grow i'll see you in the next one thank you